Hello everyone, and welcome to Beneho Plays Oblivion. As you can see, where we left off, Desire was finished with the goblins and the rats, and the former courtesan is now armed and looking pretty snazzy, actually. Oh man, that's... That might be a thumbnail, but we'll see. At any rate, uh, yeah, she's about to head back into the Imperial Subterranean, where she will meet up with the Emperor. I mean, that's not a spoiler or anything. I mean, plus, everybody knows the story of Oblivion, but this is Desire's story. And if you're wondering, yes, this will be a long play. Will that include all DLC? Well, I do have all DLC, so yeah. And of course, I will be playing other games as well, which I'll be uploading as we as necessary but otherwise that's is her this is still her trek to <clears throat> to escape the dungeons and start her new life so without further ado let's get going so off to the imperial subterranean or subterrane i should say okay so here we go Hi there. My sword for the dragon! Damn it, it's that prisoner again. Kill her. She might be working with the assassins. Hey. No, she is not one of them. That's right. She can help us. She must help us. No, I don't. As you wish, sire. I don't have to do Come anything. Come closer. I'd prefer not to have to shout. Yeah, well, especially if you're Dragonborn, that would be really bad. So I just want to see where you guys came... Really? I spent all that time sneaking around and shit, and you guys just went, like, 200 feet. <laughs> I went through an entire tunnel system, and you just went, Okay, we'll just go around the corner here. And uh, you guys are, like, the slowest people My on guardians Earth. will not harm you. Yeah, I know they won't. All right. They oh. cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. Okay. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. Sure. Uh, so will I make Desire religious? Now that's interesting. It's always an interesting question. Uh, when you're role-playing, if you're gonna make, if you're gonna have a character be religious, or at least, or more specifically what uh, spiritual uh, beliefs they will have like is it will it be a typical religion will it be atheism agnostic who knows so let's see with the with desire her being a former courtesan you know there are a few uh daedra and adra that would work with that so you know what with the nine let's just say she follows Debella. Now, there are those who would twist and say that uh, Tabella, you know, was all about the orgies and stuff, and no, that's not what she is. I think that's a twisting, but does it, Tabella is supposed to be? Like, she is about uh, sex, but, you know, it's a, it, you know, sex is part of it, but it's more, but it's not, it's less sex than it is about making love. It's like, it's less about, you know, the carnal desire than it is about uh, having having sex with someone you love you know the difference between just sex and making love right if you don't know the difference between having sex with a with just anybody or having sex with someone you love you know don't worry about it but there it, it is it is different it really is oh my god you sound like a woman yeah shut up <laughs> and you know what because she is a, a debella let's just go with that the nine the nine guide and protect us i've served the nine all my days and i shut chart off. my course by the cycles of the heavens the skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. Okay. Emperor, you you probably annoyed the shit out of your sons with the, with all this poetic language. <laughs> I mean, who... I mean, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's Patrick Stewart in a classic role, or at least for role play, uh, video games. But I mean, <laughs> no one really talks like that. 
but still, I, 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 it's 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 still, yeah, it's hard to hard to hard to fault them, hard to fault the writers. I mean, it was a very well done, uh, but it's just kind of it's just kind of funny to me how the emperor just speaks so flowery and poetic, and I mean, it's like would he really? <laughs> At any rate, uh, let's see. So, time to pick a sign. Again, I'm going to try to make this about her courtesan past. So, oh, excuse me. I'm a little burpy right now because I've been chugging pop, so just bear with me. And yes, that does mean I may accidentally burp while playing here. So let's see. Uh, the lady makes sense. Uh, you know, it's fairly obvious. The mage, no. The thief, well, let's see. The thief, there is an argument there because, you know, discretion being a huge, huge thing. And sometimes courtesans uh, may be a little unethical, shall we say, and swipe some jewels or something from their clients, especially if the client is a dick and doesn't want to pay, so it kind of makes sense. So all that, so the thief actually makes sense. The Atronach, no. The lord, no. The lover, definitely. Um, the ritual, I, I don't see how you could connect the two. Uh, the serpent, <laughs> well, well, maybe in the giggity sense, but the shadow, okay, but she already has an invisibility power, so this would be pointless, uh, but otherwise I would say shadow, yes, definitely, because of that whole discretion thing. The steed, well, there's that giggity again, because, you know, horses and giant cocks. <laughs> uh, the tower, no, the warrior, no, absolutely not. So, let's see, the lover... Uh, let's see, you can paralyze, but only if you kiss. Uh, so you have to be touching the person. That's, uh, you know, I, I really don't see how that's possible. I mean, sneaking into a play, unless you're, like, sneaking up on them, it's, so it's very, very useless in that way. Overall, you have to actually touch them. I mean, it makes sense for the character, but it's, gameplay-wise, it doesn't really seem all that great. I mean, I'd rather have a ranged paralyze attack with the spell than having to actually run up to them smooch them and then they paralyze and even then they could resist it right so it, it, it doesn't really seem all that great the lady let's see confers bonuses at 10 points to willpower and endurance those can go up no matter what so this really comes down to for me anyway the lady or the thief both of which work let's see and let's see grants a 10 bonus to agility speed and luck and willpower and endurance the lady the thief i like the idea of being able to uh, the whole discretion part of her former profession. So yeah, let's go with the thief. It makes total sense, sneaking in and out, getting the clients in and out, the ones who, you know, might be a little embarrassed to use the her services. So yeah, let's do that. Yes. The signs I read show the end of my path. That's great. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. And what about me? Your stars are not mine. Today the thief shall guide your steps on the road to destiny. And... Can you see my fate? My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face I behold the sun's companion. The dawn of Akatosh's bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. All right. And aren't you afraid to die? No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I have lived well, and my ghost shall rest easy. Men are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death to face my apportioned fate, then fall. Okay, that was grim, yet rather poetic. <laughs> why do you always... I really wish I had the option to say, why do you speak this way? Why are you always speaking in poems? Uh, well, that's okay. It really shows off uh, Patrick Stewart's skill. You know? Anyway, uh, so yes, where are we going? I go to my grave, a tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while, then we must part. Okay, I, I guess. I'm so glad that's not... Hey. You may as well make yourself useful. Here, carry this torch and stick close. 
I'm not your servant. What the hell, man? Jerk. All right. We're the Emperor's bodyguards. Our job is to get him out of situations like this. <laughs> Although I admit, things are not going according to plan. <laughs> Could you speak that first part any faster? <laughs> Our job is to do that. <laughs> Christ, man, you sound like you're on, <laughs> like on speed or something. Yeah, and tell me about Uriel Septon. My job is to make sure the Emperor gets out of here alive, and I intend to do it. Well, spoilers, it doesn't quite go according to plan. And stop treating me like I'm your close, servant. So let us do our job, and you'll be alright. Alright, whatever. Uh, of course. Huh? Oh, from over there, I thought I saw something over there. Something I could take. I'm not too worried about these guys getting in trouble. Ah, oh, just lockpicks. Well, at least I've, I've replenished my lock, like, lock pick supply. Let's just do that. And we'll run. Oh, wait. Can I? Protect yeah. the Emperor! Eh, he'll be fine. God's blood. Uh, for now. Emperor! Protect oh, the Emperor! The Emperor. Oh, See? God's oh, blood. Okay. And do you guys have anything what you do? Uh oh. I'm almost out of the room again. Okay, nothing more. Protect the Emperor! Okay, so it's popping because the enemy's popping in. Yeah. Can I. Nope. Hey, if that Be means the key, the then where the hell are the keys that they're using? Oh, wait. God's blood. Hey! So was another chest. And, okay, so, let's take that, let's take that, yeah, but I'm going to need to give something up. Let's see, no, I'm not giving up that Warhammer, I'm intent on selling it, nothing. Uh, but what do we got here, oops. Yeah, uh, what could I have here? Uh, ten and one. But I'm only going to get a bit for that. Uh, let's see, let's see if there's anything I can, oh. I might have to surf it. Really? Uh, okay. Well, I do have some options. I'm not going to give up any of the alchemy stuff. You know what? Let's trade Dale. No, 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 no. Role playing, role playing, role playing, role playing. Uh, oh. I'm going to keep the bear pelt because that's 30 gold. Uh, the flop rubies, obviously. Wait, what? I have. I have 40. Sweet. 40 lockpicks. Great. Um, no, I'm going to have those, and I'll explain why in a minute. Let me just figure out. Restore fatigue. It's only worth four. Oh. Shit. Well, that really sucks. Okay. I put it to damper on what I was going to do. I was actually going to save the two ales for getting finally getting out of, the, out of the sewers and everything. That's a bit of a celebration thing, but unfortunately... I need, I need to free up some weight. <laughs> I really don't want to give up anything else just yet. I actually wouldn't mind giving up uh, like these, like these two things. Oh. Hmm, but they're worth more. But for role playing wise, I want the ale. So you know what? Let's get rid of. Actually, no. Let's just drink these. There we go. And let's drink that one too. <laughs> there we go. Let's just see if there's anything on here. The source. Oh, okay. I gotta do this. Can I? Oh, right. Can I trade it for anything else? Oh, it's a 37. Yeah, cause, Oh, really? Oh, I didn't know I got the two restore. Did I make those? I might have made those. Anyway. Um, decisions to. You know what? Uh, no, I want to keep that, because that's pretty good. Yeah, I know I'm over encumbered, so let's go up here and have that ale. I can always have one. I know it's being jerked. And it takes a, keeps a long time. Okay. And at this point, I suspect I'm going to fuck up. Hold up. I don't like this. Let me take a look. 
Well, while you're looking, I am going to go see if there's any more. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through the sewers. Oh no! Okay. Ha ha ha! Needs a key. Okay, how come none of these Dawn members have keys on them then? I mean, how the fuck did they get through the doors? Damn it! The gate is barred from the other side! A trap! What yep. about that side passage back there? Worth a try! Let's go! Yeah, you know it's a trap, but yet the only exit just doesn't occur to you that could be part of the trap. You guys suck. You're like the world's worst bodyguards. So let's follow. It's a dead end. Sword. What's your call, sir? They're behind us! Wait here, sire. Wait here with the Emperor. Guard him with your life. Okay. For the Die, Emperor! You scum. My sword for the dragon! Oh shit. Yeah, I know. I can go no okay. further. Hey. You alone must stand against the Prince now of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Okay. Take the Amulet. Give it to Joffrey. He alone knows where to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of Oblivion. <laughs> He's... Okay. Ah. Wait, what? What? Hey, ah. stranger. You chose <laughs> bad <laughs> Oblivion, take you. Okay, that, uh, been... Oh, man. We failed. Yes, you I did. I failed. The Blades are sworn to protect the Emperor, and now he and all his heirs are dead. Yes. The amulet. Where's the amulet of kings? It wasn't on the Emperor's body. You're very blurry to me now, because I didn't have a chance to heal. <laughs> anyway, he gave it to me. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. The amulet of kings is a sacred symbol of the empire. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. I'll take it. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it, they say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? Well, I mean... <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll hold on. <laughs> I must take it to Joffrey. Joffrey? He said that? Why? There is another heir. Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. Okay, and how do I get there? First, you need to get out of here. Obviously. Through that door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City. Or it was supposed to be secret. Here, you'll need this key for the last door into the sewers. Yeah, like I said, you guys suck. I mean, you didn't see the obvious trap. <laughs> Your information of secret passages is out everybody apparently knows, and on and on. I mean, ugh. All right, the sewers. There are rats and goblins down there. But from what I've seen of you, I'm guessing you're an experienced monk. Am I right? Absolutely not. Okay, so, again, this is going to be all about, uh, it's going to be a custom class, and it's going to be about centering around her former, uh, her former job as a courtesan. So, I uh, will jump cut right to the end, because this is probably going to take a while. All right, welcome back, everyone. And as you can see, I chose a whole whack of stuff here. So because I've chosen to make the courtesan class, makes sense, right? Her former profession. Uh, it would specialize in stealth with all that was there. Uh, stealth seemed to be the best choice. Again, it's all about that discretion uh, aspect of the job. Uh, favored attributes, I felt personality and luck were the best ones. I mean, you can make an argument for many of them, but uh, personality just seemed like the best thing because, you know, I'm sh uh, as I'm sure actual uh, prostitutes could say that you know having that pleasant personality for you know their for the per is certainly uh, integral to their job. 
Uh, luck, I figured, couldn't help, or couldn't hurt, I should say. <laughs> couldn't help. <laughs> couldn't hurt to have it, and I do like to have that bonus to luck. Uh, alchemy, this would be like for love potions, uh, lubrications. <laughs> yes, I mean, it's all centered around the sex, but I mean, it makes sense. She's a former courtesan, so it makes sense, right? And things of that nature. So that's obvious. Alteration, there was like the encumbrance and everything. Uh, this to me was just because uh, if she, you know, on those times where she comes across a very cheap client, uh, you know, or she's just looking to run away to escape someone chasing her, maybe, it, you know, she got caught from the guards or something, or maybe she was, uh, I don't know, just needed to escape or something. You need to steal something. Alteration with the lowering the encumbrance, uh, in using burden on enemies and so things of that nature really just kind of helps. Also, yeah, I, there wasn't. I mean, you can make uh, you can make all sorts of arguments for just about any class there to how it would fit. But the alteration just seemed to, not only is it useful because you know it can get right to that you know uh, the, to the encum increase encumbrance spells and all that, but uh, just again just to fit in with the. Uh, with the role playing hand to hand, I mean that's just kind of obvious. You're going to have some uh, being courtesan. You're going to be dealing with clients who might be a little too uh, rough, shall we say? You know, just total dicks. You just, you know, really think who just really think that just because she's a prostitute and they hired her that they can just you know pound the crap out of her or whatever. It's like no hand to hand for defense. I mean, it just makes sense. Uh, mercantile that should be obvious to haggling uh, with high priced clients for lower for clients who aren't particularly wealthy well i mean you pay the price of that same for higher uh, for more high profile clients you know gonna need that haggling security again just to get through this uh, again goes to the discretion so you know be able to get through those measures same with sneak and the speech craft again goes ties to the personality and just being able to sweet talk your clients and things like that of that nature so you know again it's all about being a former courtesan and just going from there all right so, that's it. Yes, I do. I wasn't far off. In any yes, case, were. rats and goblins won't give you any trouble. After the sewers? Then what? You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne in Priory immediately. Got it? Uh, no, please explain more. <laughs> no, yes, I understand. I would do this. I'm so tempted to do this just, you know, uh, just to be a smartass. But, uh, no. Yes, I understand. Good. You the Emperor's trust dick. was well placed. Hey, how come you're not fuzzy anymore? What about you? What will you do now? I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better get moving. May Talos guide you. By the way, thanks for recovering Captain Renault's sword. Yeah, there it is. I'll see that it is given a place of honor in the halls of the Blades. Yeah, no problem. I'm hoping to keep it, but... Uh, okay. Well, let's you need to, to get you. out of here. There's yeah, no uh, telling who will come first. The Blades are more assassins. So then why don't... Never mind. Okay, tell me about the Amulet King. The sacred symbol of the Empire. Only those of Septim blood can wear it, they say. Okay. And yeah, well, tell me about Joffrey. He's the Grand Master of the Blades. As the eyes and ears of the Emperor, the Blades don't advertise themselves. Except for all the we of do. the Imperial Bodyguard are the public face of the Blades, but most of my brothers serve the Emperor quietly, behind the scenes. Ah. You'll find Grandmaster Joffrey at Wayne and Priory, living as a simple monk. So, here's the thing. When I first met you guys, you introduced yourselves as the Blades. So, if you're not, adver so I mean, if you're not advertising yourselves, why are you introducing yourselves as such? <laughs> okay, whatever. Tell me about the Blades. My order is dedicated to the service of the Septim Emperors. We have failed in our duty to protect him. That's true. And what about the non-Septim Emperors? I mean, do you just say, ah, fuck them, they're assholes. <laughs> Tell me about Uriel Septim. May Talos guide his soul to Aetherius. Rest in peace, my lord. And talk about Wayne and Priory. A chapter house of the Order of Talos. A monastic order connected to the Blades. It's located on the Black Road just outside of Coral. 
Okay. Right now it means nothing to her, so it's gonna be seeing you. Okay. So what about you? What do you have on you? Uh ooh, potion nine, and it's worth sixty cents. Well, at least I don't have to worry about waiting for a while. And uh, what about you? Oh see, look at that. I want those robes, I want the his sword, whatever it is. Leave the Emperor in peace. But he has stuff I want. He probably has some valuable shit. Yeah, whatever. Alright. Let's go into this guy. You got nothing. I'm gonna rob your mug your friends two gold, so the blades don't particularly sell well. And I don't see your katana anywhere, so I imagine Dick Cheese over there took it already. Asshole. Okay, and there's nothing else. That's, yeah, nothing else. Alright. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. And... Oh. Don't I have... I do have the... Oh, 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 right. Ugh. Here we go. Not as impressive, but... Yeah, there we go. Okay, well... It was... Despite you trying to, you know, talk to me like a dick and treating me like your fucking servant, it... Yeah, overall really wasn't a pleasure at all. Okay, so let's get out of here. Uh, do, do, do. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing. Just gonna run through here and go through here. Let's unlock that. It says it needs a gate. I obviously didn't. And oh, another chest. Oops, shit. Good thing I have 40. Or had 40. Take it all. A lot of potions, means. Lots of seed money. And we're gonna get rid of the key because we're in Resident Evil, apparently. Are. Time to hop into the sewers and get out, get the fuck out of this place. And I've heard talk. How? How did you hear the talk of a lost alien city called Varsa Balem, where Mayron's razor is hidden? If I search the ruins of Sundercliff Watch in Eastern Nibbin, I may be able to find the lost city and recover this powerful Daedric artifact. Okay, but how the fuck did you hear about this? I mean, whatever. <laughs> Makes no sense. Eh, eh. Horse armor. I've discovered a notice. Here in the sewer, in the secret passage. <laughs> okay. From Snack. Your name is Snack. I've grabbed Burra of the Chestnut Handy Stables. She is offering to outfit a horse with armor at no charge to anyone who presents her with a note like the one I found. Here in the sewers of the secret passage... To the, to the prison because that's just the best place to advertise your business <laughs> alright whatever uh, anyone who's not like the one I found I should bring my horse which I don't have but somehow I do uh, to her and take advantage of this offer the non-existent horse that I okay anything else Yes, of course there is, because there was more. I've discovered a note here in the sewers at the secret lake. <laughs> How did these people know that I was going to pop out here? From both Yale at the Arcane University. If I can recover the dwarven artifacts that have gone missing, there may be a reward. I should travel to Camp Ailes. Ailes? 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 Ailes. I'm going to go with Ailes. Camp Ailes and see if I can track down these bandits. Actually, this looks like... This sounds like a, an early... Uh, early game quest that I want to do. You know, the sooner I get the recover, the orrery repaired, the better, I guess. Or at least I would assume. And here we go. According to the deed that's been delivered to me here in the sewers, because everybody apparently knows that I'm here. This is a really shitty secret. You guys suck. <laughs> Fuck. I've inherited a property uh, from Frost Craig Spire from a long lost relative. Of course, because that happens to everyone. I've marked its location on my map. At the next opportunity, I should make my way out there and inspect my new acquisition. Will do. And I should, oh, I'm fucking rich already. Sweet. Next. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I was going to say, oh, there is no next. No, 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 there is. <laughs> I've heard a rumor. How? That the defenders of Battlehorn Castle are besieged by marauders that, and are appealing for aid. Oh, because one person is going to make a difference. Apparently their commander has been killed, and they're offering the castle itself to anyone who will help with the siege. 
Okay, I... Okay, that just seems pointless, then. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> well, you know what? I'm not going to turn my nose up at that, but because it's being besieged by Marauders, that sounds like it's more later in the game, so I should probably level up somewhat first, get my skills going, before I attempt this. But have more of my own castle. Sweet deal. Any others? Of course there is. Centuries ago, a great battle took place in Anvil Bay. In the battle, the legendary pirate Toradan Apdugal, the captain of the infamous Black Flag, oh, who hasn't heard of that, was defeated by the first Count of Anvil. Oh, all those centuries ago. Right. Rumors have been circulating of a hidden underground cavern beneath Castle Anvil that nobody has ever, ever found, apparently, even though it's underneath the castle, and if being a cavern, there's probably a nice large exit to it that apparently no one's bothered to look. Sure. If the rumors are to be believed, then the final resting place of Captain Dougal and his ship have been uncovered. I should investigate these rumors as soon as possible. Okay. And anything more? Come on. I know you want to. Yep. <laughs> and I got a key! <laughs> okay. According to a mysterious message that's been delivered to me here in the fucking sewers at the entrance to a supposedly hidden <laughs> passage. That's secret. Uh, okay. I've inherited an underground lair called Deep Scorn Hollow from a long lost relative. Of course, I have a lot of long lost relatives, apparently. It's situated, situated at the southern point of Cyrodiil, south of Leowin. I've marked its location on my map. At the next opportunity, I should make my way out there and inspect my new acquisition. Of course. Anything else? Any other surprises? Any other things that were just waiting for me to come down this ladder? No? Okay, you know what? Let's read these, <laughs> these messages. Oh my god. Okay, the bloodstained note. I have watched you from afar. That uh, is not creepy at all. And feel it is time to make myself known. Okay, so you're like my long lost relative. You've been watching me for what? For, for my entire life? And. That, this is creepy. Have you been watching me while I was with my coins? With the way when I'm bathing? Jesus Christ, dude. That's that's just so wrong. I am Greywin, the last of the Crimson Scars. Once a powerful force rivaling the Dark Brotherhood. I seriously doubt that. Oh, the Dark Brotherhood itself. Yeah, I truly doubt that. The Scars were the true followers of Sithis, as opposed to those fake followers. And the masters of deception. I'm sure there are those who would argue that. I will be departing this world soon, as the cold embrace of the Night Lord calls to me. That's grim. All I have I leave as a legacy to you, because reasons. I mean, I'm a long lost relative that you've decided to peep on, because you're just gross. My home, Deep Scorn Hollow, will be your new haven. Yeah, I'm not really wanting to go into the home of a, of an incestuous, of an apparently incestuous, uh, long lost relative who uh, anyway use the map on the reverse side of this note to find it all that lay within is yours to do with as you please i have but one request in return for the ways of shadow and honor sith this with the darkest of deeds i'm not sure what that's supposed to mean or where this is going but i'm suspect i'm not gonna like it make the virtuous pay for their blasphemy for for doing what i mean what 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 could the virtuous possibly be blaspheming with their lifeblood staining your blade. May Sithis guide you. Okay, if they're virtuous, wouldn't that mean they're not blasphemous? But, uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not about to go run around murdering people just because they, you know, donate to churches or decide to become a nun or something. I mean, that's... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Or because they pet a dog and save it from a, an abusive master. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> God, this, this guy's seriously fucked up. And I'm related to him. That's that's good to know. A fucking... Uh, God. Do you do, okay, I'm not going to read that. Horse armor note. Okay. Dear reader. Ah, yes. Nothing says the personal touch than calling someone the reader. In celebration of the launch of our new barding services, we are offering a free set of horse armor to the bearer of this letter. To retrieve your reward, bring your favorite horse, okay, when I get one, along with this notice, to the chestnut handy stables outside of the Imperial City. Help us spread the word about our new horse armor services. That is extremely generous. <laughs> horse armor's got to be fucking expensive. Uh, to people who actually know about the actual cost of horse armor, I mean, please 
please feel free to let me know if that's true or not. But it just seems like it'd be extremely expensive, and giving it a free set would be holy fuck. Okay, but uh, back to this. The chestnut handy, because you can't afford not to protect your horse. <laughs> okay, uh, I probably could. <laughs> but <laughs> whatever. Signed, Snack Grabura, owner of Chestnut Handy Stables. Okay, sure. No, from both, from Bothiel, Bothiel. To whom it may concern. Okay, you haven't passed this note because you may be able to help the Mage's Guild. Okay, <laughs> bit of a contradiction there. You have no clue as to who I am, as evidenced by the to whom it may concern. But I, and I alone, am the only one who can help the Mage's Guild. Aside, you know, not the Archmage, not any of the other mages, not anyone. Me and me alone, who is not even a mage. Sure, a former courtesan is going to do things that the Mages Guild cannot. <laughs> Alright, sure. The Council of Mages has not the resources. Really? They don't have the resources. Alright. Uh, sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's an entire Council of Mages with the entire guild... Yeah, and they don't have the... Sure. Okay, let's just... Okay. <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, the Legion is neither unwilling... Is either unwilling or unable to assist. Now, see, that makes sense. That'll, that I'll accept. Uh, a shipment of Dwarven artifacts from Morrowind, destined for the Arcane University. You guys have a, uni a university, and you don't have the resources to do this. Sure. That makes sense. It was interrupted by bandits recently. Intending to sell the artifacts for profit, which is most likely, but you can't be certain of that. They, what if they want to use them? They have stolen items essential to repair the Imperial Oriole in Cyrodiil's capital. The only known location of these bandits, how the fuck do you know that, is Camp LS, north of Kvatch. Oh, okay. If you can find these ruffians, which apparently I can, since you guys already found them, but <laughs> apparently you're saying, well, this is where we, this is where they are, but uh, it might be a joke. It might be lying. <laughs> <laughs> they recover items they've stolen. I will be most indebted. Okay. Your is my life's work, and I would hate to see it pass into obscurity now. Okay. And the list of stuff from Bothiel. Yeah, Bothiel. I'll go with Bothiel. I might be wrong on that pronunciation, but that's okay. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. All right. And let's just crouch, because I don't know what's coming. And How in the fuck did anyone find me here? <laughs> like, seriously. Oh, shit. I love it when the game breaks like that. And behind this is nothing. The only other reason why I checked was because these stairwells, I mean, with Elder Scrolls, chests and stuff can be anywhere, and I and I know for a fact that these, behind these stairs, these dungeons, like sewers and stuff, there's, a lot of the times there's chests there, so that's why I'm always going to check there. And I hope this is... Uh, not too dark for you guys. I mean, it's bright enough to see that I don't need uh, a torch. I'm, and I'm leaving it off. I mean, it would be very helpful. It would have to definitely be helpful for me. And that's just gross. All that dripping in the sewer. Yeah, God. Getting in the hair and all that. Oh, yeah. I better do that. Miss my katana. Yeah, I think I'll go with the elegance for equipment that uh, she has. So there's a goblin coming. Okay. Yeah, when it comes to equipment, uh, at least for weapon-wise and stuff, I'm going to see if I can't prioritize uh, what I consider elegance or something that would be uh, that I think would work with a with a courtesy. Now I know some people would, there are going to be people who want to argue and say, "Well, I think this would be better," or "I think that would be better." Sure. Yeah. You know, I. Uh, and I, you know what, and I'm not going to argue that because there's an argument for, you know, for just about anything you can think of in the game for what would or wouldn't fit uh, with the courtesan. So uh, I'm not going to argue it, you know, and I do appreciate the, the you know, those suggestions and stuff. Just understand that because I'm the one playing, uh, I'm going to want to make the decision. decision uh, I'll be deciding what I will want, uh, what uh, gets incorporated. Um, not to sound like an asshole, but, uh, it, you know, I just want to make sure that I just want to oh. And, oh, oh, oh. I saw him. Did he pause? Nope, there's a shadow. Oh, that's uh, the one that came through. The other one, for whatever reason. Alright, let's get out the bow. Oh. Oh. 
I didn't mean for that. The Iron War Axe. Take my arrow back. And we're... Oh. He actually turned... Oh! That was the one guy who was coming my way. I thought for sure. And yoink! And I totally missed. Haha! It's at triple damage. Okay. Cool. Now let's go back to... Oops. No, it, three. That's why I had it as. Okay, great. Okay, could swore I saw a tail in there. Nothing there. So I think that's a tail. Okay, well, anyway, let's just do some looting. Six cheese wheels. You know what? I'm taking them. And I'm over encumbered. You know what? She's a hungry gal. <laughs> let's see. Let's eat some cheese wheels. <laughs> Two cheese wheels. And for those who don't understand, um, just take a look at how big cheese wheels are. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> just, just, just really, really hungry. And I probably shouldn't be speeding up like this. Yep. And we'll do that. Oh. oh wow, that does so much damage. Oh, that would have been sweet if I could have done that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. nice. Okay. And let's go back to the north. Alright, so take back that. Ooh, yes, definitely want that. I want that. Okay. And what about the shields? We're at 20, and it doesn't overcome for me. Alright, sweet deal. Can't get through the gate yet. Let's see. Uh, oh, that's right. I have to go through the other way. I have to go the long way. And oh, there's my arrow that I missed. Uh, you know what? Let's hop down here. Because so there's that one guy over here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and the gross drippings. Disgusting. Uh, really? He's... Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh! Alchemy. Okay. Uh, resist Peral. Really? Cheese makes you resist paralysis? Cool. I kind of wish there was, they were able to implement cooking in this, because, I mean, you got the flour and these basic ingredients and stuff. It would be pretty cool to have cooking, but I don't think you can. Not with that mod. And there might be a mod in this, but I won't download it, because I do have an old computer, and it might not be able to handle it. So, right. So I want to keep mods. don't want to get too excessive on the mods. You know, that might be it for monsters in here. And haha, -ha, there is a chest. Yeah, so what I'm going to do with these uploads is I, uh, I'm i going to take a look at them on YouTube just to see if it's too dark, too bright. Oh, shit. Hi. Yep, hit me. There we go. And that's probably it. So let's just cast on top of my. Oh, sweet deal. There we go. Top up my healing, uh, my health. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing left. Nothing left for monsters. I mean, it's just a tutorial. That's broken. It's useless. Shit. And no, nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. And it's just run up here. try to do a... oh, shit, if I can get to the side, hopefully out of sight of his vision. Now, I've seen people who play the, the, the Elder Scrolls and they actually put in natural, uh, real, the, one of the lighting mods, where they, they, you know, where it just seems like it's, uh, where they think it's more realistic, and maybe it is, but then it just darkens, when you're in the dungeons and shit, it darkens the shit up, and it's just like practically a black screen, it's like, Oh, come on, man. People are trying to, I want one to watch. Uh, they're there to, oh. Okay, great. Oh, it's coming. They're there to watch your videos, man. Don't, don't darken it. Let them see what the hell's going on. So that's why I'm gonna, 
uh, that's why I plan on doing is that once they're uploaded, I'll uh, check them out, uh, the dungeon parts, and see if they're adequate. Because I want you guys to be able to see everything. I mean, it does kind of ruin it a little bit for me because it means that uh, you know, night eye and torches and stuff might not be as useful. But I mean, do what you gotta do. Is he coming? Yeah, he's coming. He's just decided to stop, or he's the very he's the slowest, the slowest rat in the world. Okay, he hasn't noticed me. Yeah, yeah there we go. Six times damage. And he's like, right, yeah. I think that's it. So let's just sheath my sword. Okay. There's the way out. And nothing to activate this gate either. Yeah, it's sealed. So I have to, and that's another one I have to go behind. And here we are. At the end. So, desire. Sees her exit. Oh, this might be my thumbnail. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I like this. I like this look. Well, I mean, I like this perspective. I like this scene. Oh, this just works so great. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, I love it. Mods, like, look how beautiful that is. Mods have done a wonderful job. I'm very tempted to see if there's like a... I know that they have uh, mods to alter the look of the armor and shit, and I'm very tempted to do the sexy mod version for her, but then at the same time it'd be immersion breaking because then everybody would have it, so all the NPCs and everything, so it'd be kind of weird looking. So, eh, you know what, forget it, that's, that's a terrible idea. I'll just go with the original look, I mean, this is, this is, I mean, it would work perfectly for her. I absolutely would love to see my courtesan in the sexy armor. Um, Oh my god, you're perfect. Look, it, it just works, right? You know, courtesans are gonna dress sexy. It makes sense that she would have sexy armor, right? So, I mean, come on. You know, don't, don't be jerks. I'm just trying to roleplay here. Uh, yeah, it, if, if it only applied to her, I would definitely get it. But if not, but since it's probably not the case, whatever. So, yeah. Oh yeah, this is gonna be my thumbnail. Oh, I love this. I love this look right here. This is just awesome. And they've got the blinking and everything, and the shifting the eyes looking around and everything. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I mean, like, sure, if this was Skyrim, or the upcoming Elder Scrolls 6, Hammerfell, or whatever it's going to be called, um, I, pr I wouldn't be impressed, because it should have this, the, you know, those kind of details, but an older game like this, the monitor took the time out, where they didn't have these kind of details, where the, you know, she's just kind of looking around, the blinking's coming, uh, you know, with the blinking and everything, it just, you know, that just wasn't uh, possible back then, you know, nobody really, you know, it's just too difficult, but now... I definitely, uh, I definitely love. It. Anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Enough gushing. So yeah, one final look. She's about to head out, and Desire just takes a deep breath, proceeds to gag because it is a sewer, so it's gonna be extremely stinky. But uh, yeah, and off we go. Nope, I'm happy with everything. And here we are. We have left the sewers. And go off in any direction, yeah. Hence of the world. And, oh wow. That, oh wow. Well, this all looks amazing. This has got to be the 2020, right? I mean, that looks really good. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's not. Maybe it's just how it is and it's just been so long. Maybe it's the PC. <laughs> There's the pop -in. I don't know. It just it just seems like it's re uh, really good. And the night sky and everything. Oh yeah. So... Here is Desire. She takes her first breath of freedom. And it is glorious. So, what will she do? Will she do as the Emperor bathes and rush off to Wayne and Priory to get, uh, to deliver the amulet? Will she go back to the Imperial City? try to find out something of her past since she is a, an amnesiac she has no idea why she was in that prison while she was pardoned by the emperor maybe there's records to, that could give her clues to who she was that she only remembers being a courtesan and being used by the many men and women who wanted her services because of how exquisite her beauty is or will she just simply wander about to try to find her fate because not even the gods control it. She writes her own fate, and no one else. So which will she choose? Only time will tell. 
So thank you so much for coming, everybody. I hope you come in to enjoy Desire's story in Oblivion. Oh, this might be my thumbnail instead. Oh, I love this. I love this, too. I'll choose between these two. This is just fantastic. I love this. Anyway, thank you so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope you tune in again for the continuation of Desire's story. My name is a an honest sense of lad, also known as A-Hole, <laughs> playing Oblivion. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you later.